folks, and welcome back to Alcomodo. Welcome back to Alcomodo's garage, and we have got right in front of us the Bobhead bike, or one of the Bobhead bikes. This is Seb's bike from Bobhead. He's brought it to my attention to give this bike a little bit of love and a little bit of detail. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to do a little mini series on this bike, detailing different components from paint finish, uh, from aluminium or aluminium if you're from the US of A. Uh, and all the bright work and get this down to better than new. So we're going to make this bike bling, we're going to make this bike shine, we're going to give it back to Seb like he's never seen this bike before. So with the first series we're going to concentrate on just the aluminum or the aluminium if you're from the UK, see what I did there, and show you what I do to bring the bright work up to better than new. So let's get cracking, let's bring you closer guys. Okay, so when your white walls have cracked like they have on this, there's not a lot you can do with it. You can clean them up, but you can see where there's rub marks on here where the paint's coming off uh, on the original finish. So we're just using a standard tire pen. You've just got to be careful. There is a slight lip on each edge of the white band, but just by using the back of your forefinger on your left hand, Follow the line. All the way up. Until you meet the point of your next quarter. So that's all you're doing is in quarters. Don't stretch yourself too far. So you can see the difference here between what I've already done and what's left, it's a massive difference. Okay, so right in front of us here, you'll see I have got a bar of soap. That's a polishing soap and this one's a finishing soap. I do have cutting soaps as well, which are a brown soap, you've got blue soaps, you've got all different colours for different types of uh, medium or metals and uh, for the coarseness of what you're trying to do to polish. Well, this one is just for finishing because we've nothing to cut, so we're not cutting into like a cast or anything like that. We're only po polishing alloys, so that's the reason why I'm using the finishing soap. Here we're using my trusty uh, snap-on sander polisher tool, which uses a Rolock type of head now you can buy these roll lock adapters to fit in a standard drill and you can see in front these are the two inch roll lock polishing pads they're a lambswool type or lambswool copy type pad there is the adapter that you get with these most of these kits i've got a few of these to put into a standard drill so you can see the thread there, you get the little thing on here, screw that in and then straight into the drill so you can use that. The only thing with a drill is you're not going to get the same sort of power um, or maybe get into places that with a drill that you can get with this because it's a little bit smaller. Metal polish, that brings everything up absolutely sweet. And then apart from that, it's just a few rags. Okay, so let's get cracking. Okay, so Seb's bike wasn't really in a bad condition at all. It's just been weathered over the past uh, you know, over, especially over the winter, you get a bit of tarnishing on the uh, on the brake work and on the paintwork. There's a few scratches here and there, and it's just a little bit dull. We've got sort of on the chin spoiler there some paint, which the stone uh, chips on that. I've had that on my own on the chin spoiler, so we're going to rectify that. We've got a few little stone chips here on the fault legs, and some various sort of scratching from the braided lines across up there. Uh, tank's not so bad, we've got the rockers, they're going to get polished up, we've got some bolt covers to go on, we've got the black to brighten up on the engine frame, and um, we're going to polish up this hub and make sure the spokes are all right down to the spoke nipples, all completely polished up. So we're going to concentrate on just getting this hub polished now on this episode, and uh, show you what uh, I use, so let's get cracking. Okay, so because we're not cutting, because we're not cutting into the alloy, we just want to see whether we can move this material just with a little bit of white diamond and the polishing pad rather than going straight to a cutting compound. So we're just going to 
just put some of that into there and let it soak in. And then what I always do then is just put a drop around the top of the roll lock pad. Just remember that you don't want to be putting too much pressure on because you can burn into any of the medium that you're trying to work on. So that could be paint, or in this case, it could be the alloy. Okay, so far on the inside of the hub, it's a little trick. You can use a shoelace, but you just tie a rag into pieces, drop the polish on the rag on the inside of the hub, and then just polish away like so. So if you notice, this is pulling to the left side. So what I'll do is pull it through the other side of the spokes. I know I've got the brake disc in the way, uh, but you can sort of work around it. And then just keep rotating the wheel. You can put the bike on the jack if you want and make it easy, but it will pull the wheel around. Hence why for this stage of the work, I'm just keeping the tire on the ground. Okay, folks, so that is the wheel and the hub now done, polished up with the buffer. Beautiful shine. So all the spokes have been cleaned individually and it's very tedious to do that. You can either do it with the shoelace and polish or just cut a good rag. Uh, you want a sort of lint free one, otherwise you're gonna get a lot of dust around it. But uh, yeah, that's come out pretty well. Even down to the front of the axle shaft there, that's done. And on the other side, Even down to the nut here, polished up. And then the brake disc, we've cleaned that off. So all I gotta do is just polish the rim up now, just give that a final wipe, and then get to the paint work as well. So we've got some more of the uh, bright work to do and polish. I've done the exhaust, I've not sort of videoed that, but we've cleaned the exhaust up as well with the buffer, stainless steel. So it's took a lot of the sort of heat marks off, but you will get them back once it gets warm again, it will turn a bronzy color. And again, just out of camera shot, I've just sort of cleaned up along here. So we're just gonna go ahead now and polish up the two top rockers. So the most tedious part of this job is the wheels and the hubs if you've got spokes rear wheel which isn't a bad so we've just got to clean the spokes up on that um, and the top of the rockers and then down on the bottom of here as well and then it's just a few nuts and bolts and then it's down to the paintwork okay so again we use the polishing soap you can sort of go in to the fur into the aluminium first and then use this and rub it on i tend to just Okay, so it turns white on the end of your buffer. Okay.
See the dirt coming off there. So once I've polished off with the buffer I use, always use the white diamond over the top and that just takes any of the excess soap off from the polishing. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that episode. Just gives you insight to what I do to all my bikes and to other people's bikes when they come into the Alcomoto workshop. It's all about the detail. It's the small bits and pieces, and you'll see when this rolls out into the sunshine exactly what I've done. That'll be the last thing we do. That's if there is sunshine when this bike's finished. So the next thing we're going to move on, I'm going to show you and recap a few things that I've gone over, and there's a few more bits I've got to detail that I'll, I'll put on camera on the next episode before we move on to the paintwork. Paintwork gets faded over time. We're going to get this super factory fresh or better. We're going to shine that up. Everything you see that black is going to be polished and then we're going to ceramic coat everything to finalize leather treatment the whole works before it gets the final bit of the Alcomoto magic so i hope you've enjoyed watching this one bobhead 48 rocks please remember if you like this video do hit that subscribe button please do like the video comment if you're there until the next time folks Alcomoto you're signing out we'll see you later You know there's going to be a camera everywhere wherever you go. <laughs> right, that's the Typical Harley stand, you've got to kick it three times to make sure it's down.